Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great. Today we're going to talk about uh, the character selector state, but we're not going to create it just yet. We're going to set up to create it. So we have a character creator state, but we don't have a selector state. So the idea is to have a max number of characters and then we'll kind of just uh, um, create that many. We can create that many characters and then we'll select one and send it into the game to to be used basically um, but outside from the main menu we can select characters and we can do stuff like that so we're gonna need that state eventually but first of all we're gonna change some big stuff in game so we're gonna remove this character pointer actually from game and we're just gonna have that in game state later because that's the point where we don't need to select characters from the list and stuff but in game we're gonna have a list of characters and one of those will be able to be selected basically and and this should be no problems for us to just change up and we're gonna have to change some of the parameters and stuff like that um, so yeah let's just get started let me let me start off by selecting this um, and then let's see uh, let's do a vector of character pointer character list so we'll call it character list to be completely sure that it's a list of characters and this is gonna cause a bunch of problems that's all you have to do in game.h and um, one thing you want to do in update menu is I don't remember if we did curly curly braces around the else statement but uh, hopefully we did I did some changes I was testing some stuff out and I kinda uh, had some errors and I had to revert and it didn't really revert correctly so just make sure your code looks like this I'll post the code after this video as well um, on github so you can just copy paste it from there but other otherwise it should look the same as not no big deal print menu looks just like that no problems but what we need to change is in main menu we can't have a character like this anymore we need a um, actually let's start off with main menu state let's close everything else so we don't get confused let's just start off with main menu state dot h and here I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna have a vector um, character pointer pointer character list so this is gonna be a pointer to that character list okay and one thing we're gonna to have to do is we're going to we're going to let's see we're gonna need a active character we're gonna to have to send it in let's let's figure it out let's just start here and we'll do the rest later so let's start with this we have this pointer now in main menu state now we need to replace all the um, all of these parameters with that character list pointer okay now this is the little tedious part so you're gonna have to replace this um, character list like that and this isn't required anymore all you want to do is state here I think you had that uh, because like I said I had the error error and I had to revert so um, but yeah that's cool. All you need to do now is this uh, character list equals character list. So make sure that's that looks like that, and make sure this looks like this. Now let's go into main menu state .cpp and look at this. Here we go. So here it's going to complain a little bit. We'll figure this out just in a minute. Um, before we go ahead, let's do something very important. Game .cpp we can remove this as well and this is this character list now that we're sending in no problems in the destructor we need to remove the delete character and we need to make a little for loop that goes through this character list dot size and this so we need to delete this character list at i so we need to delete all the characters don't worry about saving and loading characters we'll do that in a later part of the series but for now we just want to make every make everything work basically so we need to delete because we're gonna we're gonna be what do you call it uh, dynamically adding characters just like with states so we're popping the states we're deleting the states same thing with characters since there are character pointers in this vector okay we're gonna add them with new so then we need to delete all of them as well so once you have done that we should be fine with uh, no memory leaks character menu is fine go into print menu 
and later on we're gonna add a select character thing here uh, but for now we're just gonna do create character uh, and here so update menu so instead of that we're gonna do this character list dot empty empty so if it's empty if it's not empty we're gonna say okay it works we'll send in character list in here if it is empty it's gonna say error create a character first and then character creator state we're gonna send in character list as well like that uh, and here okay so now we know we're at this point we know we're gonna have to do something here so in your menu, main menu state dot h add a unsigned um, unsigned active character like that and this is just gonna be a variable here we're gonna have to send this in to um, game state and character create character creator state this is where we're gonna have to send it in this active character as well as states okay and we're gonna make sure that character creator sets the active character to the latest one we created and then here we'll send it in as an array this active character like that we're gonna send in the pointer to that character uh, this active character like this um, so let's see uh, 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 this character list a bunch of characters oh yeah we need to do dot at this active character like that and then from game state there shouldn't be an issue anymore so this character list uh, arrow key because it's pointer at active character and states but here we're gonna have a problem because we need to go into character creator state and fix all of the parameters um, let me just think how we're gonna do this main menu state dot h also we need to set main menu state dot cpp here we need to set the this active character equals zero and we're gonna have to keep track of this character every time we get back to main menu we actually want to save the active character hmm should we put it in game then all right so these are the issues we're gonna have to solve uh, let's go into game dot h and let's create an unsigned active character it's smarter to have it in game so let's go into game create that variable game dot cpp um, this active character equals zero okay and we're gonna send it in as a reference here this active character into a main menu state constructor and uh, then we're gonna have to fix the constructor even more character list um, unsigned reference active character like this copy that put it into the CPP file as well right below and then we're gonna have to initiate it so act active character active character don't forget that okay so instead of having just an unsigned active character here we're gonna make it a reference so that it will save that throughout throughout everything um, throughout uh, all the whole game uh, runtime okay so main menu state active character main menu state dot cpp nothing different cool so now when we do active character it should be zero from the beginning then we can change it as we want to do as we want to later on cool cool now it's in game and don't forget to initialize it in game all right so next step let's cr let's just go ahead into character creator state so we're going to close down main menu state and we're going to open character creator state dot h and cpp um, and in the h file we need to replace this again vector uh, character pointer 
and then pointer again character list copy that name and put it in here so we need to replace this with that name then we're gonna do an unsigned reference active character save an unsigned reference active character here as well this should be below actually to make it correct doesn't really matter but I like I like to keep stuff ordered and then once we do that we need to copy both of these go into the CPP file and again just replace that uh, so it looks like this so it should be fine remove that first one active character active character this character list equals this or uh, character list like that so this looks basically like main menu states constructor nothing different nothing no big deal and should be fine shouldn't have any more problems and then in here character creator uh, state create character we're gonna change some stuff and the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna make an if statement if this uh, character list dot size is greater than this max characters then we're gonna just go ahead and do this all right if it's less max characters uh, let's do it the other way around it's a little easier to read less than wait is it no wait let me just think here if less than there we go there we go uh, so that should be correct then we can create a character else we're just gonna see out max number of characters reached new line and just end that right there cool and we'll remove this delete thingy we'll say this character list uh, push back push back new character with a name and a bio boom so there we created a new character now the max character isn't defined yet so let's go to character creator state uh, the h file and we'll do an unsigned max characters here and in the cpp file actually we'll make it a const unsigned max characters and then in here we'll say max characters equals five like that and that means that we can uh, easily easily uh, check for max characters max number of characters to so add some uh, spaces here just to make it look a little better and that should be fine that should be fine and if we close down these two now go into main menu state.cpp again we should see that this error is now gone because we're sending in the list and the active character and then we run this shouldn't get any issues okay try to run the game create a character first let's create a character so a new character something 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 character was created back to the menu start the game and then we can go into the character menu and everything so we don't have any issues with that list from now on and I close the game it's no errors one thing that is kinda of confusing right now is how many characters do we have and which one is the active character so right here I'm gonna do a this character list dot at this active character get menu bar and I'm gonna do another new line right there two new new lines here like that and then we'll see which one the active character is and to make it a little clearer how many characters we have we'll go into character creator state dot cpp right here and where we print out the menu we're gonna do uh, this active character no this uh, character list size 
and we'll just show how many characters we have this and then we need to do a two string of course like this two string uh, this max let's see are we in character creator state this um, oh there we go this max characters and then two new lines however you wanna however you wanna make that look and then um, yeah now we should clearly see how many characters we have and what the hell's going on okay um, let's just do this character creator state uh, this should be fine. Main, main. Oh, this is the problem because there is no character right there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see. So we can do this a little more. It's going to be a little more tedious. But let's just copy this and remove that for now. And do that. C out. Add a C out right there. And then we'll make an if statement. If this character list dot empty so if our character list is not empty we're gonna print this whole line out and then we'll do a semicolon right there um, otherwise we won't print anything so now it shouldn't be a problem so character is empty Wait, we can do this as well. Let's just do an else here. See out no character. No character selected. New line. New line. And then we'll do a little space here as well to make it look a little nicer. Space in here as well. Like that. So now we have a way for the user to see that we don't have a character uh, we can try to create start the game it won't work we'll create a character new character something something all right so back to menu now we can see which character we have selected and what the hell's going on actually that adds a space there automatically so we won't do that in character creator state I saw that it didn't really look right here as well so I'm just gonna add a little space there and then now it, everything should look a little prettier, I think. So character creator, yeah, create a new character. Back to menu, start the game. Now we're here with that active character. Now let's create a bunch of characters just to see that we can reach the max number of characters. Mm. All right, so five out of five, try to create another character. Max number of characters reached. So we can't create another character now. Everything seems to be working. Back to menu. That's the latest character we created. Start the game with that character. Character menu, name and bio, stats, everything's here. So now we can create a bunch of characters, but we can't really select between them uh, yet. Um, so yeah, that should that should be fine for now. I mean, it's it's a little it's a little pain to work with all of these lists and everything, but hopefully it will give you some practice to work with pointers and to work with arrays and stuff like that. Um, it hasn't been that big of a that long of a video that much of stuff we've done, but this is a very important step to the next one where we're gonna create the character selector. Mm. And then we'll be able to select through all of these characters. But like I said, I'll be uploading this code to the GitHub. And the link is in the description box. You have more links down there uh, to support the channel, to support me if you want to. You can support me by just liking the video, um, subscribing. But just watching it is, is enough. And I just really appreciate all the support. So please go ahead and check the links out. And maybe you'll find something you like. Um, I have a link for all playlists down there as well. well. Watch the tutorials. Try to learn about C++ like I always say. It'll make it a lot easier to follow along in these in these uh, tutorials or these videos here. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Best of luck to you. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Right? Bye bye.